How about some spaghetti today? Spaghetti a la putinesca. So uh, that means kind of a variety of things. And here are some olives. And I'm going to use crushed red pepper and, and some uh, capers, and anchovies, and garlic. And here's some oregano and some parsley and some olive oil and some tomatoes. We'll need some salt and let's get started. I have my tomatoes here draining and I'm going to take them individually and just kind of chop them into halfway small pieces. This way would be better. In the quarters and small pieces. And that's the way I'm going to chop them. And um, also the size of the capers here. I'm trying to do the olives that I chopped the same size. And even the garlic kind of the same size. And here's my uh, three anchovies. And these are the best brand I've ever bought, whatever brand that was. Those are delish. So I'm going to chop my my tomatoes. Put a little olive oil in my pan here. Maybe about three tablespoons. I'm going to add the garlic. And I do not want my pan very hot. It's just kind of warm and it's warming up and that way you do not burn your garlic. We'll let this cook up a, just a little bit. I hope you can see that like there's little bubbles right around the garlic. They're, they're, it started about two minutes ago. So they're bubbling up for about two minutes and you can really smell it. I'm going to add the three anchovies. I'm kind of smash these up and I'm going to stir and smash and stir and smash for about one minute just to kind of break these up to where nobody knows they're in there see how the uh, anchovies have disappeared it's been about 45 seconds so now I'm going to add the red chili flakes the red pepper flakes I'm going to add the capers, the olives, and the juice from the tomatoes. I'm going to turn the heat up to medium. Well, I've let this bubble away for about seven minutes just to kind of reduce that tomato juice and I did give it a taste and it tastes kind of salty not really salty but kind of salty because of the um, capers and the olives and so I'm going to add the diced up tomatoes and I'll turn heat up just a little bit just a little bit above medium and let these uh, cook away just a bit been simmering here. I turn the heat up about five minutes is all. I'm going to add the cooked pasta that's al dente. Add the oregano leaves and the parsley. Just mix this up. Mix it up for about, I don't know, a couple, three minutes to really warm up the pasta and uh, just get everything kind of blended. Have some dished up. You could add a little bit of olive oil on top if you want to. You could add some cheese if you want to. I don't think you need to. Here's a piece of bread. A green salad would go with it perfectly.
that is mm, one of the most perfect spaghetti dishes you could ever have. Mm, so good. Thanks so much for watching.